Hello and welcome. I'm Brian Kaplan, editor of The Banker. I'm with Michael Watt, who's the Investment Banking and Capital Markets Editor. We're at the Investment Banking Awards 2015 in London. We're just about to have the awards ceremony. And Michael, I mean, you sat on the judging committee this year. Um, I mean, were you impressed by the diversity and range of the entries that we had this year? Yeah, it was a very strong year. Uh, multiple entries for every single category. Um, that we asked banks to submit for, uh, which I think shows the, the, the depth in the industry and, and the sort of uh, um, the, the, the focus on a, a vast range of different topics in the industry as well. All right, and at, at the Investment Banking Awards in the banker, the way we do it, I mean, we focus very much on innovation. We, we call them, you know, Most Innovative Investment Bank of the Year is, the, is our top award. Um, and do you think that um, you know, innovation really is key in the markets these days? Because balance sheets are, you know, are kind of out and innovation is where it is. Yeah, banks have to box clever uh, with the new environment. It's, it's constantly changing, but we've had higher capital ratios, higher liquidity, ra liquidity ratios, higher leverage ratios, um, and a lot of deep structural mm -hmm. changes in the market as well with clearing and trade reporting. So banks essentially have to do the same with less or more with less in some cases. And it's about finding the balance between what products you can offer, where you make your, uh, your focus, because being a jack of all trade for a lot of banks isn't really possible anymore. Okay, and in times gone by, I mean, we, uh, an occasion like this, you know, the deals would have been very much sort of European deals or US deals, uh, but, but we're now we're seeing much more in the way of, of, of deals coming out of emerging markets, aren't we? Yeah, especially with, um, with Asia, there's a very strong uh, renminbi issuance at the moment coming out of China. Um, a lot of banks in, from Western markets going there and facilitating that, connecting uh, investors from non-Chinese markets to Chinese issuers. A lot of uh, European banks um, getting Western issuers, Western governments in many cases, to issue in renminbi. It's a much more geographically spread um, market these days, and that's reflected in the entries that we had. Great. Okay. Well, we look forward to the evening. Thank you.